Alright, here we go, battle with me and Carly. I wonder what I wonder what Pokemon would be like if it was um, narrated like a, a WWE tournament. <laughs> and sadly that's never even happened in the anime. That'd be cool to see in real life. Special th special thanks uh, special thanks to Discord member Hopeful Comedia for the hat and the shirt. Awesome. Mm -hmm. As the funny thing. Okay, so what have we got here? The funny thing is, is Hello? that um, I I may have this hat, but there's one thing I have that Ash Ketchum will never have, and that's a beard. A great beard. Oh, hey Ben. Oh, hello. Hey guys. Hello. Oh, I just noticed you. Oh. Yes, yeah, all right. It's it's already going down to the wire. Yeah, poor Brian Johnson. <laughs> Honestly, ever, ever since I rewatched the Cornetto trilogy, I don't think I've gone a day without re um, quoting one of the films. <laughs> Did you say Courgette? Cornetto. Cornetto. That'd be an interest. Cornetto. That'd Cornetto. be an interesting alternative, Courgette. Not Courgette. The hefty version of uh, of the of, of the uh, Cornetto trilogy, just it, it, like the Cornetto is just. It's the yeah, it's the it's version not. of the Cornetto trilogy made by the Wurzels. Well, st starring another duo, um, starring Ant and Deck, directed by, um, um, oh, who's a t TV comedian director? Michael Bay? <laughs> no. <laughs> no, no, no. <laughs> I kind of want to see it in a sort of so bad it's a good way. <laughs> yeah. uh, also, one somewhere has made their own independent knockoff of it. Find yeah. everything. Anywhere. I can imagine if the same people who made Paul, like they made they made a trilogy. That's the core oh, no. oh, Yeah. Right. Revenge. You killed the you killed the lead singer of ACDC. So now the lead <gasps> now the lead guitarist of Guns N' Roses kills you back. Mm. Uh, this reminded me when, uh, of when my dad. Uh, I can't remember his name. The the guitarist for Led Zeppelin. Like he went to go see it the day before. Like his Jimmy Page. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Went to go see him like the day before his like art exam when he was back in sixth form, and he said he he didn't do too well on the exam because his ears were ringing. Still. <laughs> yeah, Jimmy Page has some pretty epic guitar solos. Yeah. Oh yeah, didn't. Uh, oh yeah, I remember now. Um, Puff Daddy and Jimmy Page were together and they in the Godzilla, the 1998 yeah. version of Godzilla. Yes, they did a duo together. Wait, still shocks me. Wait, who <laughs> and Jimmy Page? Puff Daddy. He was a rapper of the time. Whenever yeah, he's done by like many, many names and not many people like him. Yeah. That's all. Yeah, but like, yeah. whenever I hear Puff Daddy, I just think of Shark Tale, and that just shows how uncultured, uncultured I am. <laughs> uh, I have to, I have to ask... culture watching Shark Tale. That's a terrible film. I, I it's a guilty pleasure for me. Like, I, I have to uh, ask Rocky, uh, the, if, is there like, uh, an explanation like behind it. the name you gave your Mew here? Cosette. Yeah, my oh. friend's uh, my friend's uh, cat named Cosette. Oh, I, I had a feeling it was yeah. I, I had a feeling it was named after a, a pet, a friend's oh. pet. Yeah, so I they named me in memoriam. Mm. Sorry, the only way to get you is by getting a copy of Let's Go Pikachu and Oh, Let's Go Pikachu. Oh, Let's Go yeah. Eevee. Yeah, you you yeah, get you right. you get Jirachi if you have Sword and Shield, which I do. So I've got no. What was it? Yeah, it was Sword and Shield. Yeah. I didn't play uh, Let's Go Pikachu or Let's Go Eevee. Neither have I, to, neither have I, to be honest. I, I definitely need to get round to it because uh, because I definitely missed out a lot of Pokemon before mm. I finally got my Switch. Um, because the only way that I've been playing the original Gen 1s is by uh, doing the Fire Red and Leaf Green era, really. 
You yeah. take you're taking out slash. That's in Japan. Uh, yeah. I mean, with those new um, uh, nin- like Nintendo Switch, um, you know the old uh, games like the N sixty four being ported onto um, the Switch here you know, for like the online thing. It's like imagine if they started doing Game Boy once, then we had like you know um, the original Pokemon on Switch. I think they did. I think they did do that for the 3DS ports of the Gen One games. Yeah, because um, for the new 3DS, they did a special um, console edition of it. You know, with those removable plates. They did one for um, oh, Charles of the Crash Toys with the mm. with, uh, with with the original games included. But in Japan, the only way to get Pokemon Green is by getting the um, special rare transparent. 2DS of Pokemon Green on the 2DS console, <laughs> and that thing's gone up in price so much. <laughs> to be honest, I, I re- like the only Pokemon game I've played a lot recently has been Mystery Dungeon, uh, the, the the one for the Switch. Um, like I, I played that heck out of that. Like I kind of got a bit burnt out on it from how much I played. Like I beat the main story, and I just saw that there was a massive post game, and I was like, I think I'm going to take a break, and that was like. Five months ago, and I haven't come back yet. Take a break. Oh, I was hoping the, I was hoping the sandstorm oh, would be enough to get you get up, yeah, get it rid of you. But no, it was not. It wasn't. The sand, George. The sand. Always with the sand. I felt that one. Oh, oh. No lies. Yeah, it was uh, hopefully. Sorry, I couldn't resist her uh, referencing Hotel Transylvania with Murray. I haven't watched. I haven't watched any of those movies. Not because I don't think they'd be good. They look. I like Jendi uh, Tartakovsky's stuff, but uh, I just had no interest in checking them out. To be honest, I rewatched the um, the first one around Halloween last year, and I was a bit disappointed. Like it wasn't as good as I remembered. Hmm. Like, there was a lot more. As I like, I, I kind of coined the phrase Sony humor. There's a lot more Sony humor than I remembered. I think though it's like if you want if you want to watch a good if you want to watch a good Tardy uh, Jendi Tartakovsky movie that was CG animated, just watch either of the Cloudy with a Chance of Meatballs movies. Oh, yes, uh, yes, I mean, he did do that. Oh, yeah. it was Real Lord and Chris Miller. Uh, but he yeah. anim- he animated them. Yeah. Oh. Oh. Okay. No, yeah. Okay. No. Fine. Yeah. Tartakovsky's never really been a director of movies. He's always just been the animator. Although there was that Popeye movie that he was planning on making, but sadly never happened. And then he got scrapped for the emoji oh, movie. Mm. Oh. Really annoys me that because because I know that got cancelled in favour of the emoji movie. Just why? There's so much you could have done with that. To be honest, as much as, 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 a, yeah. as, much as like, I hate the emoji movie, I think it was a turning point for Sony. And I don't think they've made a particularly bad film since, like Sony Pictures Animation. I mean, oh no. Like, what was the next one? Oh, yeah. Like, what was the film Sony made right after the Emoji movie? Spider-Man Spider-Verse. Into the Spider-Verse. But that one, one, but, but that one, movie. Yeah. But that movie was in production for a long time, so that was already on the docket before they made the Emoji movie. Uh, How long yeah, the first was it was 20 years of production. Well, well, they made Mitchell's vs. the Machines after um, the Emoji movie. Yes, yeah, right. that and I that scene I haven't watched that, but I've heard that's good. I haven't seen it. Either, I'm so happy it's on the DVD Blu-ray because I'm so I'm, getting that Blu-ray. <laughs> well, if I'm honest, I haven't really heard of that film either. I just thought we just went straight to Spider Verse after Emoji. Yeah. Anyway, but, I found my original Game Boy cartridges of the Red the Ruby Sapphire. Hey. I'm so happy to have these. Oh, no, it time. wasn't enough. It wasn't enough. It's over now. Goodbye, Von Scott. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's a more dignified way than the actual Von Scott died. Yeah. Who? The previous. So what was all the collector's introduction to Pokemon? Uh, uh, Ru- Ru- Ruby, Saf- yeah. Ruby Sapphire in games wise, but in terms of the introduction to the franchise, it was definitely the anime. Same here with the anime, but then these two, Fire Red and Leaf Green, really kicked it off for me. I've been a loyal Pokemon mm-hmm. fan since, from Fire Red to the original Pearl, right here. And then. And oh, I was actually in Pokemon Stadium. Yeah, that was no, fun. For me, uh, it was probably. Like the, the the transfer pack 
you know, where you can like get your Pokemon off the uh, original. Yeah, that was that was yeah, that was cool. Yeah. Like, yeah, that was cool. The universe, but love them, you never had because uh, the battery died. To mind. That was yeah, always, that's always the, that's always the downside of cartridge games is that the batteries can die. <laughs> you forgot I had the stealth rocks. Yeah, oh, boy. <laughs> Because so, um, <laughs> um, I'm a young and my introduction to Pokemon um, was through. It's was just the, called um, Puppy. I love that. But, but mm. my introduction was actually um, the anime, and it was specifically black and white. Um, I, I, I randomly watched that show, and then I just absolutely adored it. Like that was like my favorite thing on television for like a few months, and I didn't even know that it was, it was based on a video game. I just loved the show. I would also forgot I was I was really into the Pokemon cards when I was a kid as well. Although I never actually played the game, I just I, I, I'm I'm too young to have been in the. Yeah, I'm, cards. I'm kind of glad because I know I wouldn't spend too much money on it. Well, even the cards, I didn't I didn't sure. collect them to play the game. I just collected the cards to collect the cards. I like the artwork. Yeah, they're, they're yeah. Exactly, the artwork. I would have spent way too much money on them. <laughs> yeah, because speaking of cards. <laughs> Because I've been collecting those metal Pokeballs um, that they've done. And this has been the only special Poke card that I have, which is Tapu Coco. Uh, Tapu Coco, uh, I think. You know, from Sun and Moon. Yeah, I can. I can. Uh, can, can. It. But yeah, I've got, I've got a pretty bad habit when it comes to collecting things, I know, because these guys are all staring at me. <laughs> oh, hello. Someone's it. God, I, I spent way too All right, time. now it is really down to the wire. We got, we're both down to our last Pokemon. Barry Gibb versus Poppy. Barry Gibb versus Poppy. Barry Gibb versus Poppy. That's the evolved form of uh, Togepi. Togepi, yes it is. I think that's the name of that one. Uh, whenever I hear the wire, I just think of that really, uh, that really crap Dr. Uber. It was just like, Phoebe! No, I love the wire. The wire was great. Uh, the, the, the 50s um, post it. Hostess-like, or... Yeah, 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 that one. Just posing with one, just... Oh dear, this is good. I didn't like that one. <laughs> it, it, for me, it just seemed like a knock-off Little Shop of Horrors. Mm. Maybe you don't see more. Please! Oh, Sixty seconds. <laughs> Alright. Wait, no! <laughs> oh dear. <laughs> Well, drink the mayhem, mayhem to the face. Rest in pepperoni. Yeah. Well, <laughs> that that's a red le that's a red letter day because it's not only the it's not only um the first person to beat me has uh the first person to fight me has beaten me, but it's also the first time Carly's ever beaten me in Pokemon. Yeah. Well, I was down to my last Pokemon. You were down to your last Pokemon, last few HP, and you pulled it out of the bag. Hmm. Good game, that was a good game. Anyway, yeah. Well done, Ronnie. All right. <laughs> Carly wins that, and she gets the she'll get she'll get a uh, Hall of Fame certificate for that. <laughs>